Okay, so the next tool that we're going to use is actually a website called searchdns.netcraft.com. So you can use this website, uh, you know, to give you insight on DNS information for a given domain. So you can potentially learn things like, you know, the names of all the subdomains that exist for a domain, uh, who owns that domain, IP addresses of their servers, name server addresses, DNS admin information, you know, where is, you know, where are these servers or these websites hosted? And you can even learn the operating system uh, sometimes uh, that is actually running on the system. Okay, so when you get back into Kali Linux, just click the little icon right here and just open web browser. And it's gonna take you to like the home, like Kali Linux page, like by default. It's just a file that's on the system. Uh, it's kind of like a copy of the um, like website that's online. So what we can do is search DNS, dot netcraft.com and just give it a second to load and then we're gonna have an option so let's say site contains let's just say we're doing do 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 msn.com we just want to learn a little bit more about msn so let's go ahead so let's see accept these cookies we're learning about, so you see right here, it says msn.com. This is a subdomain, www. And click on this to figure out information, but you can see right here, it has like a little site report right here. You can click on and get more information, but it has the operating system right here. Obviously, msn.com is running Win, uh, Microsoft uh, Windows Server 2012, which isn't really the best idea right now uh, since it's 2020. Uh, but we're getting, you know, different subdomains, and just different information and there's a report like on each one that we can look at um so it's pretty neat and you can gather just a lot more information on a website so if you're doing like a penetration test you can get all kinds of information that people don't know are on the internet so you can see this is all publicly available information stuff that anyone can just go out and you know search the internet for it's definitely something that's worth using when you're conducting like an external assessment see it's pretty good you know you can have uh, you get an IP address right here. We have, you know, the operating system. Uh, it's pretty neat. So I recommend that you guys definitely add this to your arsenal if you're doing like passive reconnaissance.